Happy 2024. Welcome to the Totally Designs channel. If you like to create, you like to grow, you like to know, or you simply just want to come and hang out, go ahead and press that like and subscribe button along with that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I go live or upload a brand new video. Now, I hope you enjoy today's video. Hey, YouTube family. I'm back for another Michael's Arts and Craft Hall. It's your girl, Kesa from Totally Designs. And I want to show you what I purchased today. So basically, I went to Michael's Arts and Craft today and I purchased a few items. I want to show you what I did purchase. I did not buy a whole lot of beads, y'all. The beads are not on sale right now, but I did need specific beads because I am working on a project. So what I did was I purchased these glass seed beads right here. And this is like six millimeter. And basically, I'm going to use this in a project, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use it with. So I also purchased these beautiful babies right here, and these are that dyed imperial jasper. Very beautiful stones. Love these stones right here. They're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and then I purchased the second strand because the necklace I'm going to make, it's just going to be a beautiful necklace. Now, normally when I buy seed beads, I always use them to take up the space or to absorb the space, like little spaces in between the necklace that just kind of off makes the necklace off-centered a little bit. And, you know, basically it seed beads are the feng shui of these type of beaded necklaces right that i work on and it goes well with these stones right here so and i'll probably show you that project at a later time then i got the plum glass seed bead six millimeter and those are the only beads that i purchased y'all okay the rest of everything are findings and other things I'm going to getting ready to show you. So I did purchase those. And like I said, I purchased those because I am working on a specific project. Now, I went and bought me a new set of round nose pliers because my pliers have worn out. And normally I try to replace my pliers every four to five years because they just wore out and I use them. I mean, I really, really use them. And I would uh, recommend you guys, if you are really... Um, really into making jewelry and you guys are always you know working with your pliers your round nose your needle nose all of these different pliers that you work with if you work with them constantly they are going to wear out now you can purchase like an expensive set and they might last you longer i'm just not ready to take that leap yet so i just buy these and they're not that much so this was 6.99 i paint I paint regularly, so I purchased some more of these brushes because what I'm noticing is that my brushes are wearing out because I paint all the time. And then I clean them and then I clean them and then I use them again. And so they just wear out. So I just went ahead and purchased some more. And these were uh, $6.99, okay? And I love how they have the point on here then they have the flat back i call them flat back and basic and they are flat they're flat round and argular and then not they're non-slip grip which is good for me because sometimes they slip out of my hand all right so these are really really good and it's by a company called craft smart all right now, I also purchased this mandrel. Now, you guys know I work with ring mandrels because when I make rings, I do work with the ring mandrel. So this is good for making rings. This is good for making earrings. If you're making hoops from um, just regular wire, uh, I always use memory wire because it's just easiest for me to make hoops with those. It's just really easy. A lot of people think that you just use memory wire just for making bracelets. No, you can use memory wire for just about everything. It all depends on what you're working on. But again, this is for the wire that is not memory wire. It's just either soft wire, you know, and you wrap it around. And you make whatever you're making. 
I purchased some more chains because I am making some charm necklaces and and probably bracelets and all these other things that I'm working on for this conference that I'm going to do on the 30th of this month. Okay. These were not on sale. Uh, I believe these are regularly $9.99. But because I have a coupon. And I also have an additional discount because I am a regular shopper at Michael's, which I have a teacher's discount, which is quite cool. Um, it's really, really cool. That's all I can tell you, right? And so I bought those. And so everything that I purchased today was 40% off. So my total sa savings was $77, which is really, really good because you always want to save now i purchased these this is brand new i don't know how this chain works yet y'all um i'll let you know how it works possibly um it's a new chain that they had so i picked it up i thought it was quite interesting so i went ahead and picked it up so i bought two of those which is really cool i also bought another silver which is was great and i'm really um happy with that purchase so I, I really like Michael's Arson uh, Craft Chain and Joanne's, really. Now, I also purchased some more of those split ring, key rings, whatever you want to label them as. And I did get a couple of those because I am working on a necklace project with these. And I will show you that, okay? I am so sorry, y'all, about the barking in the background. I, I don't know what to even say they just go all right so i also purchased these as well i'm going to make these into some earrings it's a pendant but i'm gonna make them make them into earrings because i think it'll be a beautiful earring and so i bought a couple of these to make some earrings out of i also purchased the jump rings that is the seven millimeter and i also got the eight millimeter and I know some people make their jump rings. I'm just not interested in making jump rings at all. I just want to be able to get to my project and get it done. Because I make everything as it is. I need help, <laughs> you know, to just go be able to finish a project. So I'm not going to always be able to make everything. I'm, you know, I deal with the wire and all that stuff. So that's enough for me. So I also purchased these to uh, toggle clasps. But I'm not going to use these as toggle clasps. I'm actually going to turn them into earrings. And we'll, I'll show you that. I got these lobster clasps. Now, these are a little bit different. Um, what I noticed is that they have a little bit of a color in it. It's like a tinted pink or something like that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it does have that tinted pink in there. All right. I also purchased this pendant right here but i'm not going to use it as a pendant i'm going to use it as an earring okay i you know it's amazing when i see pendants and things like that i don't see a pendant i see like earrings which is quite funny and um then i also got these different type of lobster clasp i like these these are the lobster uh clasp as well but I like these because they're thinner and I just like to work with those as well. And let's see what else I have in this bag here. And I got quite a few of those. Okay. Now, I also purchased some paint. Now, this paint is a little bit different from the paint that I normally get. So, this one is called um, Sunny Yellow. It's from a company called Plaid Glass, uh, Gallery Glass. And this particular one is a little bit different. It's permanent. It, you can remove it, though. But it, it's non-toxic, which I, we all love non-toxic things. But this is supposed to have more of a, a gloss stain to it or a, gla a glass stain. Forgive me, not gloss, but a glass stain. And I just want to see how it pales in comparison to the other um you know paint that i'm working on now i also purchased this from it's called deco art is the name of the company 
it's glass paint. It's supposed to be glass and glaze ceramic paint. So I'm just curious as to how that will look. Now, I think it's supposed to be a lot glossier, a lot shinier, but I will let you know once I start using this paint, y'all. And this is like a dark teal green. Now, what's interesting about this particular one, it says this is easy to apply acrylic. It has exceptional coverage and durability. Direction, shake well. Apply with soft brush or sponge for an opaque satin finish. Apply one to two coats. Allow to cure four days. Now, I don't know about me allowing it to cure for four days. It usually don't take that long, but you know. And then this one says you can heat uh, 275 in your in your oven and bake it for 30 minutes and allow the oven to cool, which is, I think that's different. I've never worked with that type of paint where you can actually put it in the oven. And if you have worked with this type of paint, let me know uh, how it works and would you recommend it, okay? This is from Craft Smart. Now, this is just a different type of paint and I'll tell you why I bought it because it says it's butter. And I like the color. It's not a yellow. Well, it's sort of a yellow, but it isn't a yellow. But we'll see once I paint it on something, okay? So this one is just regular, you know, just paint it and let it dry. And that's pretty much it. It does say let paint cure for 72 hours. Y'all, I never do that. It uh, says you can place in cool oven, heat to 350 for 30 minutes, cool in the oven. I mean, I wonder if there's something to that. I just have never done it. Y'all tell me if y'all have done it. I would be curious to know if you have or not. Now, I got this one in Deco Art. It's glass and glazed ceramic paint, and it's coral. I like coral. I like to work with coral. This is a lighter coral. This is not the darker coral, okay? Then I also purchased this one. This is more of a lighter teal color, and it's the same thing, glass and glaze. I am curious to see how this looks on the earrings I'm going to paint, all right? Last but not least, I did see this as well. It's violet. It's stained glass. And it's from the same company, which is uh, the yellow one is from, which is Plaid Gallery Gloss. I always buy different paints from different companies because they're not the same. Obviously, they're not the same. Let me know how you guys do your painting projects. I'm really, really curious as to how you guys do your painting projects. Now, let me just go ahead and show you uh, one more time, just up front, so you can see the different um, brands, okay? Those are the different brands. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and my returning subscribers. Thank you so very much for your kind words. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for going on the journey with me. This is really an important journey for me, and I am just glad to invite you all in on it. And I'm glad that you guys are learning something from my channel. With that being said, y'all, this is the end of my haul. And as I always say, happy beating.